Hey, Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to show you the horror titles that I have in my Criterion Collection. So, these right here will be presented in alphabetical order. Um, first up, we have The Brood. Now, I recently watched The Brood for the first time this year. Um, just look at that image there. Very creepy movie. Um, great film. Definitely check this one out if you like to have something to watch that's creepy. This is definitely one of those. Um, next up, we have Don't Look Now. Um, this is another one that I just recently watched for the first time. Great performances. Um, it's an older film, early 70s, I do believe. Um, great storyline, great surprise. Um, check that one out. Okay, next up we have House. This right here is from 1977. I did recently watch this one within the past year for the first time. Very strange story. Very interesting. Um, I know a lot of people have heard about it. I know it had a lot of high praises before I watched it, so I definitely couldn't wait to check it out. It's very different. It's probably not going to be for everybody, but anyways, I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, next up we have The Innocence from 1961. I picked this one up recently, watched it for the first time last year after watching The Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix. Someone suggested I check this one out. I think this story was based off of this movie or this story, this book. So, another great film to watch. Next up we have Night of the Living Dead. Great classic horror movie, zombie movie. It really set the tone for all the zombie movies moving forward. Really great film. Definitely check this one out. The next one I have is The Phantom Carriage. Another old film from 1921. I really enjoyed this one more than I thought I would. I do like older films. But this is a great story. Definitely check this one out. Add it to your collection if you've never seen it. And then next up we have Rosemary's Baby. Now I've only seen Rosemary's Baby a couple of times. I do remember watching this as a kid on Saturday on TV. For whatever reason it was on TV on a Saturday. I watched it. Very creepy story. If you've never seen Rosemary's Baby, definitely check it out. It's a good one. Then we have Scanners. Now, Scanners is a movie that I've only seen once. I definitely need to revisit that. But this is a collection video of my horror titles in the Criterion Collection. Actually, as you can see, I've never opened this particular title up. But what an image. Um, I need to revisit this before I watch it again. But a great title. The next one I have is The Uninvited from 1944. Another old film. Great ghost haunted house story. Definitely check this one out if you want to see a good old haunted house um, ghost story this right here would be one that you should definitely check out and then lastly we have ba vampire now this right here is in the collection i've never actually seen this one i need to open it up i've heard great things about it it's from 1932 black and white of course um, but this is part of the collection video so vampire so please leave me a comment below let me know if you've seen any of these titles maybe suggest some that i should check out that i haven't got to see yet um, also, leave me a suggestion of any Criterion Collection titles that are horror related that you would like to um, you would like me to watch or add to my collection. I didn't even, I did not include the Silence of the Lambs in this collection, as I don't really consider that a horror movie. Uh, it's more of a thriller movie to me, and I know a lot of people would like to combine those two. But anyway, that's the reason why the Silence of the Lambs wasn't in this particular collection video. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.